Okay guys, here's my quick review of a uh, pocket tree guide that I got from the Arbor Day Foundation. Uh, it was five dollars. I was really expecting more than a pamphlet for five dollars. I was plus I think it was I don't know three dollars shipping something like that three four dollars shipping. I was thinking that it was actually some kind of uh, book so that was a little disappointing um, if you see the font here the black on the white field that's nice okay but when you go inside to be decorative they put this brown textured paper and then the font as you go page by page good information here just keeps getting smaller now here's the actual one of the main pages you use. Now I can read it fine in here, but when you're outside in the field, um, you're holding this away from you like you would a field book. This brown texture with these small fonts, and I gotta believe that's either six si a font size six or smaller, on this brown texture it's just not a pleasant reading experience. Why in the world didn't they go with uh, black block lettering on white fields on the critical information? I know they're trying to get artsy and craftsy there and I appreciate that on these kind of pictures but over here see how that just kind of just all mush but this, this, the contrast here is good, but <laughs> field guide, you don't need to put window dressing on this. Look at even that. Look at how much room they have there. That could be three, the font could be three sizes larger there with, uh, in that same given space. So, I mean, yeah, it's usable, but for a field guide, you want blocks of concise information dun, 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 and work your way through it. Well the idea is you answer the questions and it asks you to turn to the respective pages using the process of elimination. Um, so I'm going to use it, you know, like here's the main page, you know, does it have needles? Uh, does it bear cones? Does it have leaves? Then it says, you know, are the leaves simple? or are they uh, compound or are they fan shaped are they alternate or are they across from each other you get the idea then if you answer yes or no you go go to a specific page but there again they're trying to make it look you know cool here look at that 24 you can see the yes fine but look at that 24 it's just pointless They've gotten the arts and crafts crazy on that. Well, I know this is a nonprofit and everything, so I basically just gave them a donation, I guess. But uh, I, I got to say that in general, I really like the artwork, but the fonts and the lettering and the size, I just don't like. And see, especially this here. This should be, get rid of all this and make this big fonts with blocks you know yes or no like a driver's training manual there you go <laughs> like a driver's training manual and then save the arts and crafts stuff for these kind of pages here but other than that that's interesting uh, if I would have known it would have been like this I probably would have went with the $12 book which was one step up now see see what happens when they when they go to a white field see how much how much this is different anyways I'm kinda of ranting here but uh, so my review would I buy it again no I would have went with a more expensive book instead of this is it usable well we're gonna find out but I already was trying to read it you know it, outside it's just you know here I'm well lit and have lights and I'm close to it and so on and so forth so we'll see how it goes
I can't say that I was happy when I opened the envelope for this after spending I think it was eight bucks maybe nine bucks so have a good one